Good morning. It is day three aboard the inaugural cruise from Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas. Today is another sea day and I'm looking forward to having a great day. I hope you come along with me. We're gonna get this. I'm starting my day off with another uh, ride on the bike, get my body moving before I start doing the, the crew stuff, like eating a lot. So let's go. That was a good ride. Now heading down to the main part of the fitness center, which is on deck five. And you're gonna go to the walking track. jogging track gives you one of the best views on the ship, the wake. Not like Oasis class ships where there's a place to sit. There's not one on Icon, but you still got that great view for the jogging track. Promenade's dead this morning. I guess a lot of people had uh, a little too much fun last night. Early bird is the worm. I think I'm gonna go washy washy before yummy yummy going to the wind jammer. I love these new elevators. I love the new system. It tells you what the next deck you're stopping at is. It's early so not many people up so I'm gonna get a straight shot to 15. Nobody else. I think that's so cool. Deck 15. What do we say? Washi washi washi. <laughs> Lulu, they have the white donuts. She loves those white donuts. <laughs> The Windjammer has so much to offer. They got cereal, there's hot foods, there's fruit, and they also have a gluten-free area as well. So they take account those that have food allergies. I got a lot, because I'm not sure I'll eat at the Windjammer every day. There's so much other stuff around the ship to eat for breakfast. And so I'm like, well, I mean, I'm not gonna eat all of this, obviously, but I wanna try everything to see what I like and uh, it all looks pretty good. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed. I don't love the beans, but the ham, the honey glazed ham is amazing. And then the potatoes, sometimes the potatoes can be like old and kind of tasteless on some ships. This is really good. And then the uh, pork sausage is amazing as well. And of course, I had to get a chocolate croissant just because I love them. I just made a splurge purchase. I got the top cabana in Hideaway Beach. The one that has its own water like area, like a plunge pool. Um, I'm really excited. Normally I wouldn't do this, but like, this is amazing. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. First icon sailing, going to Hideaway Beach. Like, I kinda wanna do it. So something for you to look forward to make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on that video when it comes out and please throw me a like for booking this cabana i can't wait i gotta have some coffee i need a cappuccino something fierce i am struggling I need to stay awake I need to get going I need some caffeine Sachari, 
Well, I got my uh, Starbucks coffee from Pearl Cafe and uh, sitting here admiring the beautiful view of the ocean with my morning cup. So there's a huge line outside of the Pearl this morning and I was like, what is going on here? Apparently they're pulling out the uh, messy jerseys, the one that have the uh, Royal Caribbean uh, crown anchor on it. So I may have to pick one up. I want one of those jerseys, but it opens at 11. It's 10.30. And people have been standing in line since 10. I don't want one that bad. Well, I went up to the room and I got changed for the day. I'm gonna do pool and uh, may go check out the jersey situation. Well, the line's still there and is only slightly longer than when I left it. So, uh, we'll see. I'd say only about 15 more people got in line from the time it took me. I haven't gone 30 minutes. It's almost 11. The line is moving and I see the messy jerseys. They're a little different than the ones I had seen before. They're pretty cool. I'm gonna have to pick one up. Okay, so I figured it out. I just heard from one of the uh, crew members. They just announced this jersey, the home jersey for Inner Miami today. And that's why it waited until 11 o'clock. They had to wait for the announcement. These are not even seen until right now. That's why they had them all covered up. And so it's, uh, it's kind of a big deal. So now I definitely have to get one. Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Welcome. So they have two different styles. There's one that's a little less expensive, and then there's one like an official jersey that has Messi's name on the back. And uh, it's the one I ended up getting. Got my mommy vice, and it's time for the uh, swim up bar at Swim and Tonic on uh, deck 16. This swim up bar is amazing. I love it. I can't believe I'm on a cruise ship. I feel like I'm like an like, all inclusive sandals right now. It's so cool. All right, I'm gonna have lunch at the uh, base camp. They have both inclusive and extra cost items here. So I just ordered some bao buns and a hot dog from base camp. Base camp is free, bao buns are extra cost. And they gave me this pager that'll go off when my food is ready, I take it up and then I'll get my food. All right, my order is ready. Those bao buns were awesome. Definitely worth the price if you don't have the unlimited dining, but man, they were good. The hot dog was good too. I mean, that one's free, so whatever you prefer. I like my hot dogs with just mustard, but you can add on like onions and cheese and bacon for like $4, but I didn't need it. it sir, yeah, this is a great spot. So I'm in the restroom and I, I kind of got confused on how to lock this door. This is Wave to lock. Yeah. Bite the bullet. We're gonna hang out in the hideaway. The adults only suspended pool. It's crazy. I can't wait.
excellent day at uh, the hideaway and I went for a steam and now I am dressed to impress I am going to the Empire Supper Club last night I received an envelope outside my stateroom door it has a wax seal on the back I don't even know what it says Let's open it says we welcome you to an unforgettable night at Empire doors open at 620 doors close at 630 formal attire required Wow I cannot wait this is gonna be a new experience for a royal and a new experience for me I wanted to have something fancy a little upscale I've got a friend coming with me and I look forward to a great night at the Empire Supper Club Journey this evening. Cheers. 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 Our first song is a little bitty. You should all recognize, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Let's start first with the Amos Bush. It's a, I call him a teaser for taste buds to ask him for more food. So it's a bagel with onions, with the cream cheese which is mixed with the chives, egg yolk, wagyu, and also on top of the Osetra caviar with the golden dust. Looks amazing. Bene sauce, salted spinach, sandwich tomato, garnished with a coral which is made from parmigiano reggiano cheese, and also sprinkled with the rock salt. Thank you. Thank you very much. Carbonara sauce, crispy guan chale, hit the flour, also the chives, microgreens, and when you cut the pasta, the Great, thank you. It comes with the champagne sauce, basil oil, osetra caviar, microgreens, and the head of the lagosin is just a fresh fry. It's green, just a fresh fry. Thank you. What to go? <laughs> it's a pie salad, it's a romaine lettuce, it comes with the homemade Caesar dressing, also it's garnished with a sweet peppercorn, made of the flour, Cheese. The puto ring is made from the focaccia bread and the butterflies that are made from the parmigiano reggiano cheese. Yes, so nice. <laughs> 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 and fresh berries. We have a chocolate beehive. It's a made from three types of chocolate. White chocolate, hazelnut nougat, chocolate sponge, in the middle it's salted caramel, and the manga puree, marzipan bee, and golden dust. Start spreading Special treat for you. So 
so as our finale. So ladies and gentlemen, let's give a huge round of applause to the wonderful oh, Kylie Minogue. Yeah. This has been incredible. Thank you so much for so good. With us tonight. It's been a pleasure performing for you and uh, we hope you enjoy your surprise treat. Empire Supper Club was amazing. I am stuffed. I ate so much. That Wagyu beef was, if I could marry a food, I would probably do it. It was so good. Uh, the entertainment was great. Had such a great time. I highly recommend it. It's definitely worth the cost. <laughs> we just missed the uh, traveling piano elevator guy. Well, we've had a great sea day here on the Icon of the Seas, the inaugural sailing of Icon. And we finished off the night with an incredible dinner at the Empire Supper Club. So many cocktails, so much food. The Wagyu beef was amazing. And I just had a great day. Thank you for coming along with me. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content just like this. And as always, we'll see you real soon.